Hi, I'm Caroline. Welcome to FYI News Vice. Here's what we found for your information this lunchtime. A tragic find. Rescue workers off the coast of West Cork have found a body. Divers are continuing their search around the wreckage of the T-Bonhomme, which sank on Sunday. While the body that was found this morning has not yet been identified, it's understood the body is that of an Egyptian national. Back on board, work has begun to stabilise the Costa Concordia, which ran aground off the coast of Italy last Friday night. The search for those who are still missing was suspended yesterday as the cruise ship continued to slip deeper into the water. Plans are in place to blast more holes in the ship to allow divers easier access to its interior. Eleven people are now confirmed dead and nearly two dozen remain missing. Relatives say they aren't giving up hope. Everything is possible. Miracles do happen and... Uh and uh, let's keep up. That's the only thing I can, I can at the moment. Controversial, a meeting by nuclear experts and government officials in Japan is sparking public outrage. They're considering restarting two reactors at a nuclear power plant in the western part of the country. If their startup is approved, they'll be the first reactors brought back online since the devastating earthquake and tsunami last March. A true Hollywood horror. More gruesome discoveries were made near the famous Hollywood sign after two dog walkers found a human head near the iconic sign. Police then found two hands and two feet in the same area. It's believed all five body parts came from the same person. They're hoping to get enough information to identify the victim, who's believed to be a middle-aged man. A new charge for a new era. Communications Minister Pat Rabbit says people who pay their TV licence have nothing to fear from the proposed new broadcasting charge. The minister wants to replace the current television licence with a new charge in order to tackle evasion of payment. The new charge would cover computers and smartphones and would be collected with the new household charge. Who says humans are the only ones who should enjoy a good night's sleep on a mattress? One Ohio farmer says since his cows started sleeping on waterbeds, their milk production has increased dramatically. All they need now is a TV and some exercise equipment and they could call this a bed and breakfast. And finally, may the cake be with you. This epic six feet tall edible stormtrooper was served up at a sci-fi convention in Boston. It took a staff of 10 to assemble the 300 pound cake, which used 208 eggs, 20 pounds of butter, 140 pounds of sugar and 35 pounds of flour. They also used 55 pounds of marshmallows and 30 pounds of Rice Krispie treats. It took nearly 600 people to devour and defeat the cake. FYI is interactive. From your opinions to news you think we should be covering, we want to hear it all. FYI is available to you 24-7 online for all the information you need to know. Simply log on to tb3.ie forward slash 3e forward slash FYI. Here you'll find the latest stories, video catch-ups, comments and the FYI blog. We're also available to you on Twitter and Facebook. Just log on to the website and hit the social networking shortcuts. Time now for a look at the funniest clips on the web. Here's our top five. At number five, a liquid nitrogen experiment isn't meant to be tried at home, kids. <laughs> or anywhere. At number four, how sledding dogs let you know they're tired. At number three, and who said cats weren't affectionate. At number two, one passionate fan lets the emotion or possibly the beer take over. Have you ever been here for your tummy to put the sparkle on it? And you lost! The Packers are supposed to win the Super Bowl. And number one today, someone didn't see the on air sign. Or just wanted to get on TV. Well, I'm Manchester City. Haris, on air. Manchester City is selamat dari serangan. Lagi pelawanan berlangsung semalam Manchester City. Tune in to FYI later for the newest downloads. We'll have more on the top stories. Plus, catch up on today's tech news with Cathy and Paul will be here with all the sport. We'll see you back here at six, right here on Three E.